What's up, YouTube? This Enoch coming back with another video. 777. Hope all is well. Shouts out to everybody out there. Y'all stay safe, focus, and balance. The title of the video. Sleep paralysis, incubus and the succubus, spirits. Alien abductions. Known as the greys and shadow people. So this is what they are not telling you about sleep paralysis. What this truly is. My whole thing is to help you see past the physical into the spiritual realm. So let's start. The incubus and the succubus. These come in the form of the greys. They are sex demons. They come about with certain activities, certain environments attached to certain people. This is an energy. This is an evil spirit that latches on to certain people or manifests through a portal, literally, being this phone, fallen angel technology. So know what you are using. So with the incubus and the succubus, what does it sound like? Succubus, suck, energy, abyss, the lake of fire. There you go. So with porn, right? This is a portal, the devil's playground. You open up the gate to where? To the abyss. You have the key being the phone. You give up your power. You waste your energy. You lower the chakras. You waste the energy. After that, you become open to the unknown. This is how you experience sleep paralysis. Masturbation. You are bait for the devil. It is a trap. So the incubus and the succubus... They are depicted as a devil, even a dragon. How do a dragon look? Breathing fire, representing hell. Wings, they can fly too. It doesn't matter if that is a demon. They have wings as well. They drag you down. Look at the word dragon in plain sight. They drag you down into a lower existence. Whenever you fall asleep, you are technology. Once again, you are the universe. So with that being said, right, whenever you close your eyes, the subconscious, it is the real UFO. You travel to different places in outer space, which is here inside of the body as well. So within, so without. So do you get it? Different beings are there flying around with you. Everybody is not on your team. They may come mess with you if you give them that say so, meaning your power. So keep that power. Stay balanced. Don't react to certain things. Just look at it and let everything fly past you into the fifth dimension. It's all a set up, people. This is why the stuff is free. They want to keep wasting your energy so you can never learn how to ascend and become your higher self. They want to keep you stuck in a matrix. But learn how to see these spirits because they are here in a physical form. Certain people that you may come into contact with, they may show certain characteristics, certain traits, personalities, programming people. That is how you pick up this energy. Learn how to look at the facial features. Does that person look like a sex demon? In the dark, when you cut off the lights, look at the face. Just study it for a second. You don't find nothing strange is taking place. Why do these people like to go against nature so much? Why do they like to put you in certain activities that you wouldn't even necessarily participate in? 
So that is a sign that you may be in front of an incubus or a succubus. They are here. Learn how to tap into this energy. They may have messed up teeth, just like Melina and more to come back. Whenever you turn off the lights, you may see their face shape shifting. The energy may be extremely off. Nothing light inside of that body at that point. That's how you can tell. So whenever you experience sleep paralysis and you get abducted by these graves, this is me saying that you have been abducted by the incubus and the succubus and the shadow people. You open up that door. So right then and there, they take you up into their spaceship. They can do what they want to you because you allow them. Once again, you gave away your power. Whenever they say the aliens, they put you on the table. They do your bed. They hold you down physically. You can't do nothing. Science experiments. They have tools, little gadgets. They can violate you. These spirits, they do not discriminate. It doesn't matter what gender you are. So know about that. Last thing. Let me explain this episode in Rick and Morty about the slut dragon being an incubus and a succubus. Now, these things, they love nasty things. They love filthy stuff. Whether it is tasting, doing, seeing, all that type of stuff. That is where they come in at. So Rick and Morty put the truth in plain sight. Whenever it first came on, the dragon, the incubus or the succubus, they portrayed the dragon as a prostitute. Not only that, a slut. Now the dragon, it was dragging a garbage bag. What a coincidence, right? That could be a physical object or you or me. Representing low energy. Dirt. Time to wake up. A car pulled up. It was a pimp, I think. Or somebody that wanted to trick off. So they was disrespecting the dragon. Calling the dragon out of its name. And at the end of all this, they called the dragon a slut. So the scene changes. Rick was in a cave with the dragon. Signifying that the dragon came from a dark place. It was filthy, dirty, a hoarder, collected junk. They got high, listened to future Molly and Percocets, opening portals and gateways, getting drunk, mixing spirits. The dragon, it got caught. The gatekeeper came back for the dragon. It had a whip in his hands. So the dragon was on the ground and that wizard was whipping the dragon, calling the dragon a slut. The scene changes. They go back to hell. They take the dragon to its rightful place. They met up with other dragons, Rick and Morty. The dragons, low vibrational, cursing, foul language. They do not discriminate. Once again, they will violate you. They can come off as bisexual. They mess with any and everyone. They went to even saying that it is certain people that is here, here on earth, that has this spirit attached to them. They even are in a lower place. But that's a quick video. This Enoch 777. Peace.